How's it going, everybody? Andy McCullough from the Kansas City Star here at Tropicana Field, where the Royals knocked off the Rays 3-2. to um, The Royals moved to 30 games over 500. That's 3-0. They are 79-49. and um, It's still August, and they have 79 wins. This is one of the, uh, the great teams in franchise history, as we said before, and they've made that really clear this August. They played some great baseball. Uh, tonight was a pretty tidy victory. Edison Volquez threw uh, six and two-thirds, only gave up two runs. One of those was unearned due to an error by Paolo Orlando out in left field. Um, Orlando did contribute an RBI single, so, you know, uh, give some, take some, whatever that phrase is. Um, the, the Paolo taketh and the Paolo giveth also. I don't know. It's been a long season. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> um, Kendris Morales uh, hit a three-run or two-run homer um, to put the Royals ahead uh, or, or further their lead, I guess, and, uh, you know, that was kind of all they needed. Um, and, you know, the, the most interesting thing today, I, I imagine, was Greg Holland, who just uh, bulldozed the, the seven, eight, nine hitters of the Rays um, very, very efficiently, a day after looking the opposite of efficient against the Orioles. And so that's kind of the, the dilemma the Royals have run into with Holland, is that he will go through stretches where he looks really out of sync and his fastball velocity is down and he's really ineffective. And then he will come out and have outings like this, you know, where he only threw, I think, two fastballs, but he just ran over the hitters, you know, with his slider. His slider was very, very good. And so you see, you know, what's possible with Holland when he's right. And that's why the Royals aren't giving up on him. And they still have belief, you know, that he'll be a, a big pitcher for them down the stretch. But, you know, the inconsistency, again, is just um, something worth monitoring. So uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be writing about that. We tend to write about Greg Holland a lot in the pages of the Kansas City Star and also at KansasCity.com and also on our True Blue app. So uh, have a good night.